Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're out here lesson two. It's been about two weeks since Andrew has uh, done this drill with the speed trap here. Yep. I have watched him do it and he has been working hard on it and there has been a lot of improvement on his swing plane coming more inside out. How, how has this worked for you, Andrew? So I mean, it's, it's really helped me get inside out because I would always go over the top and then hit these little red things. So I would be able to visualize when I go over the top. So now I've kind of been able to groom my swing path to go inside all these and then. Um, okay, okay, so yeah. he's getting inside out. The one, only problem he's experiencing now, he's, he's flipping it. He's always had a tendency to do that. He's hitting the board a lot. Mm -hmm. So today we've introduced the uh, bag here and talk about Talk about uh, what the bag's helping with, because we've had already had a couple of aha moments here today with it, that he's, it's like, what happened? That yeah. was really good, was like, well, there's a lot to it. It's a mental part to this bag. Go ahead. Yeah, so pretty much when I hit the normal golf ball, you know, you're thinking of all the things you need to do, but when I go to hit this, it's like really decomplicates it. So it's just, you know, simple, go at it, hit it like with force, and then your hands end up forward. So it keeps you from flipping pretty much. You're not gonna, hit a solid object like this, really. Okay, hit the yeah. bag, hit it about 50% speed. Feel, feel the motion you're doing. All right. Good, all right, now do the same thing here. It doesn't matter about the result, right? That's the mm -hmm. mental part we're trying to get. Doesn't matter about the result. Make the move like you hit the yellow bag. Yeah. Okay, you can see drop down a little bit, hit behind it, but I thought the move was pretty good. All right, so now, I'm gonna try to trick him. I've done this with him about two months ago and it worked out absolutely amazing. He didn't know what the heck happened. All he saw was this hybrid that he hit and he hit it about 185 yards with a little draw. And what we did was I had him hit a ball into the bag here and there's no result. So he's gonna hit the ball, but he's gonna stop because he's hitting a solid object. So let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right, let's do it again. That to me looked like you're still trying to hit the ball. Yeah. Hit the bag. I mean, you're gonna let the ball get in the way of making this beautiful motion, okay? Yeah, you're right. chopping the tree. It's a big, solid yellow bag. Not a big deal. Better. All right, so let's see here. Still kind of complicated looking to me, like he was yeah. thinking too much. All right, hit the bag. Let the ball get in the way. I'm gonna check out his. Ball position this time and see how he's doing. Let's get over this way a little bit. All right. All right. Let's hit them. All right. I'm just gonna check out your ball. Hit that big yellow bag. Let's we'll see what happens. All right. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Oh. I tricked him again, even <laughs> though he knew I was gonna do that. But yeah. he still got the aha moment, didn't yes. you? Yes. So why is that so different, Andrew? Because I'm thinking I'm gonna hit the bag. I, uh. you know, yeah. Uh. I'm not thinking of a little tiny ball. Uh. So maybe you want to keep doing that, right? Yeah, probably. Right, that was really good. I want you to keep making it more simple and getting your thoughts into hitting this solid object, okay? All right. All right.